Hello everyone. So today we'll start the topic of mathematics that we call quadratic equations. Now you must all be a little familiar with the term already, right? We studied about quadratic equations in our previous classes as well as in the chapter of polynomials. Now we'll dig a little deeper into the concepts of quadratic equation and we'll learn how we solve quadratic equations. We'll also see how we use them in solving real world problems. Now let's clear out some very basic problems, very basic questions that might be troubling your minds, right? Why exactly do you need to study about quadratic equations? Well, the answer to this question lies in the fact that there are numerous different real life problems which can be solved with the knowledge of quadratic equations. For instance, a lot of you might have played the game of Angry Birds, right? As you might already know, it is one of the most successful games on mobile phones. If you pay attention to the path of the bird as it flies away to destroy the pig castles, you will see a shape emerging out of it. Have you seen this shape elsewhere? Are you familiar with this shape at all? I bet a lot of you like playing or watching cricket. Does this shape not resemble the shape of the path of a ball when a batsman hits the ball for six runs? It does resemble that shape, right? If you observe closely, you can find the presence of this particular shape all around us. The shape of the path of, a wat of water when it comes out of a water fountain. The shape of the structure of many bridges all across the globe. The shape of the roller coaster rides that we all love to ride in amusement parks. They all resemble this particular shape, right? But you might be thinking, why are we talking about this particular shape while studying quadratic equations? If you recall correctly, in the chapter of polynomials, we have seen that this particular shape is what we call a parabola. And a parabola is used to represent a quadratic equation in graphical form. As you have already seen that there is a vast and diverse scenario of real world applications related with the shape of parabola, the study of quadratic equations for analysis of those shapes naturally becomes very important. To begin our journey into quadratic equations, we'll first look at what quadratic equation actually is. Then we'll go on to some basic terms of quadratic equations. We'll see what we mean by saying solving of a quadratic equation. We'll see what the roots of a quadratic equation are. Then we'll go on to study about the three different methods we have for solving quadratic equations. After that, we'll have a look at the different kinds of natures of the roots of a quadratic equation. Once we are through with all the concepts in the chapter, we'll do some solved examples to understand the concepts of quadratic equations better and to apply them in real world scenarios. See you in the next lecture.